So a little while back we modified this hard drive to be a gyroscope by basically taking out the rewrite head and just taking out the magnet and stuff so it's lighter so the spinning mass is the larger portion of the mass of the entire hard drive. Let that spin up for a little bit. Now we have a gyroscope. Now the issue with this is that there's a lot of air inside here. There's platters and spacers because this is still configured to be a hard drive. So that's why I bought a second hard drive of the exact same model. Different revision though. So I hope it's the same platters inside. So we can remove the spacers and take the platters from over here and have more mass that's spinning. First we'll crack all of the screws on the outside. Then there are hidden screws underneath here. There we go. Ooh, lots of corrosion on that one. This we undo. Oh, let's see. I can't remember for sure which which hole we undo, but I think it's the innermost one. No, it's, it's the long one then. There we go. Super strong neodymium magnet. That's pretty cool. Now we unscrew this. And now we undo these. Aren't these just awesome? <laughs> I wonder if I can take these like this. Oh, look at that. So now we have a solid platter. Let's do the same with this one so we can add the two collections together.
Oh, look at that. Room for even more platters. Oh, it's so much heavier. Now these spacers are really cool. Now theoretically, since I took the same amount from that and put it on there, the amount of spacers that I displaced should fit on here perfectly. Close enough. It's so tiny. But it's such a good bearing, I bet. Oh yeah. One thing I like to do is take those two screws that held in the magnet and connect them into here since they're the same size as the inter external screws. We grab a power connector. And give us some power. Oh, it's not, it's not able to turn it on. Let's try this one, though, just to see what happens. And this one has the opposite problem. There is so little mass that it had a hard time getting started. Let's watch that in high speed now. Now I wonder how much torque it'll have when I hold it still. Oh. Power on. Oh, there we go. God, this thing scares me. So that was pretty cool. Now let's turn it on, get it started, and then put the lid on there so I can show you the gyroscopic procession. Pretty much by rotating it on that axis, like that, makes it turn in that direction. See, you push down like that and it turns. Push like that and it turns that way.
It's so fun. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We've now doubled the mass that's inside of this hard drive, or gyroscope now, so that should be a lot better. Although it has some starting issues. So, next time I will fo focus on connecting up an Arduino to control this motor instead of having the SCSI controller card on here. And that way I could even tell it to go faster if I needed. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!